Okay, I think we're up and running. Let's check you out. Oh good, it's working. All right. Hi boys and girls, it's me Butch. My name is Terry David Silvercloud. I'm not native, just sounds that way. Uh, I'm 78 years old. I live in Vancouver, British Columbia. Uh, it's getting dark out here. It's just about 7.30 p.m. in Vancouver. Monday, they say it already, the 10th of April, 2023. And uh, what I want to do, well, I still got some light, and I got my video gear working, I think. It likes to crash a lot to get it going. So I think we're working. I think we got sound. I want to give you a quick hack to externally power the uh, Q2N and the, oops, sorry about that, Chief. The Q2N 4K. Uh, it works for both cameras. They, I have one of each. Uh, they don't make the Q2N anymore. It's the 4K model. So I'm old. I live an old age pension and income assistant, so I have the lowest price gear I can lay my hands on, but I like lots of toys. So I have two of these cameras. Uh, one of them is uh, over there. Hi! That's the Q-Tran 4K. And I have a Panasonic uh, 180 camcorder that has clean HDMI up there. Hello! And uh, over here is a, a Mocos uh, industrial surveillance type of camera. They're all like two three hundred dollar cameras so the point of this is uh, I want to show you you can buy uh, an extra battery pack thing to put on the bottom of this camera that'll hold four AA batteries uh, but even then you know you're burning up well I guess you get rechargeable battery you're burning up batteries and you're still not sure how long it'll last and if you're gonna do video you want to make sure your camera doesn't shut down for lack of power. So this camera is basically a fairly high quality microphone with a, uh, a, a video camera attached. And, uh, you know, people that have bands and want to record themselves probably would like it just because it has pretty good sound. Now, if I was out uh, doing video, I would probably have a microphone, a shotgun mic and headphone plugged into the camera. Uh, and what, what the object of this video is about is to show you how to power the uh, camera externally. This is the third time I made the video. I made a mistake earlier. I keep forgetting what I'm supposed to be doing. So to prove to you, there's no batteries. There's no batteries in here. It's being completely powered by being plugged into a 5 volt power supply down on my power bar. So if you want to make a, a long video, you want to go into your... Uh, your settings and uh, make sure the camera is not going to shut off. You know, like check. Jeez, why aren't you doing this for me? Damn it! Forget it. Anyhow, um, things always disappear when you want them. If if I was doing video, I would. Uh, have one of my handles attached to the bottom of the camera. And in the studio, this is good for powering the camera. But if I want to get out on the road, I need something else. And what I did today on my way home from the doctors is I stopped in and uh, 
got this uh, Energizer power bank, 10,000 milliamp per hours, good for eight hours of a regular laptop. So for a little camera like this, that should be plenty of juice to get you through a, uh, a long outdoor video recording without the battery dying. And don't forget to go into the settings in the power off settings and make sure it's not going to turn off after five minutes or something like that. So I'm just going to quickly show you uh, how you do that. Um, I'm what camera am I? That's okay, right here. You can see the camera is on. Let's go to this camera over here. Actually, I just turned it off. Okay, so I'm going to um, this uh, battery comes with a little cable which isn't useful here but other things uh, you can charge it from your computer or you've got to get a little 5 volt power supply you likely have one I have several and what I'm going to do is I'm going to plug uh, the the camera into this battery so I've I've got it uh, plugged in to there now I'm gonna turn on the camera I hope there it comes working so far and it's telling me I have no SD card yes I know so there is no battery in the camera right now it's being 100% powered from the power pack. So if you were doing a long video on the street, you just get a longer USB cord and you can put the, uh, the battery in your pocket and uh, then you can uh, not worry about uh, it shutting down on you uh, while you're recording. and Or you could tape the uh, battery to your handle or something like that. Uh, so I go on and on and on like a dripping tap and I think I've covered it all. I had some uh, issues getting everything to work and it's getting dark so I hope this time we're, we're working. Uh, the reason I um, have bought the... Uh, oh, I see. I might have some sound there. That's interesting. The reason I went with this uh, gear is that uh, Justin Trudeau, the Prime Minister, uh, I expect because there's going to be an election coming up in the near future, will probably come to the uh, Gay Pride Parade here in, uh, in uh, Vancouver, and I've videoed him before. So I'm planning on using this camera uh, to try and catch some video of Justin Trudeau at Pride. I can't promise he's going to show up, but uh, my prediction, it's not a prophecy, <laughs> no such thing as prophecy, but betting and gambling and the, the entire world runs on uh, predictions. So I predict that uh, Justin Trudeau will show up for the Pride Parade and Pride and I will photograph him. I um, I lost my eye tooth this summer, the crown, and spent 1800 trying to fix it, and that didn't work, and now they want 5000 so I have a, a gap in my mouth there. Uh, it makes it hard to speak sometimes. But I don't have a spare $5,000, <laughs> and I don't care. So I'm going to... Hopefully, put that down, not make too many clunks. Camera's not frozen yet. And what do I want to do? I'm going to uh, cut out here and say goodbye. That was the two hacks. How to externally power your Zoom Q2N or Q2N 4K. 
So Butch is going to say bye-bye.